Example nine. We see the word and. So we're going to have and in our answer. We are then going to solve both of these as separate problems. First, I'm going to add one to both sides of the inequality. That gives me 5n is greater than negative 25. I'm then going to divide by the coefficient of 5, and that's going to give me n is greater than negative 5. I didn't flip the inequality symbol because I divided by a positive number, so the symbol stays the same. On this one, I'm going to be adding the constant 2 to both sides of the inequality. That's going to give me 7n is less than or equal to 14. I'm then going to divide both sides by positive 7, so I get n is less than or equal to positive 2. Here is our final answer. If we were to graph this on a number line, we would have negative 5 and positive 2. Negative 5 would be an open dot, positive 2 would be a closed dot because of the equal 2 bar. Now when it says n is greater than negative 5, I know that greater means going to the right. Then it says n is less than 2, I know less than less, and they meet in the middle. And that also goes because it is an and inequality.